Yes, yeah. Why does Ju I... almost just have an evil stare? <laughs> Talk about how fond of level wow. two. Wow, you got good here. Shinwei is sort of like the uh, the uh, sorry, Shinwei is the uh. Whoa. <laughs> um. Okay, she's in charge of beauty. He's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to my palace. Champagne in your chalice. Even I'm not single, follow to me. Tell that a boy so we can to deep. Rolling around the world. So this is a request from Black8. Uh, this is... <laughs> I've never heard of this person. Uh, from their recommended, it looks like maybe they do video essays. Um, but, uh... Explaining all 24 Triple S members like it's a sorority. It's like a 15 minute video. So I'm excited. Obviously, you guys know my Triple S knowledge goes up to about what was Mayu? I think S16 had just joined, right? Or maybe it was just. Yeah, I don't think I got to Lin on like the when we were just watching some of the signals. So I kind of know. At least some of them up through like S15, S16. Obviously, I know uh, Shinyu, but. Hello, Vinko. Hello, hello. A pop group comes along that shakes things up. Uh, is the whole video in English? I'll turn subs on if they have clips of them talking. Plays a different have... game and paves a new way for others to follow. And Triple S is beyond that. Like, I struggle to even think of it as a K-pop group. It's more like a sorority that pumped up their numbers by recruiting grade schoolers. If you didn't know, they're 24 members. That's kind of funny. That's the largest K-pop girl group of all time. So you might be thinking, how will I ever learn all their names? It'd be easier to learn a foreign alphabet. Yeah, it probably would be, but that doesn't mean we can't make it fun. So let's take a look at that sorority analogy again. I mean, after all, the members live together in houses. The only thing stopping them <laughs> from throwing red cup ragers are the Big Brother style cameras put in every room which through the internet watches every waking moment of their life, and the fact half of them can't drink yet, that too. I'll be giving a quick overview of each member, explaining their personalities <laughs> and roles as if they're part of this big triple Yeah, I've never seen one of this guy's videos, I And think, showing but... some funny clips. Disclaimer, I do not know the members personally, so this will be a big simplification of who they are. <laughs> It's meant only as an entertaining introduction. Thank you. One last thing, for those that don't know, the members are all S's. Don't ask me why. And S1 was revealed all the way back in May 2022. Fun also to have his perspective. Um, fun also to have his perspective, because he also has kind of an outsider perspective, right? Where it seems like, at least, assuming his narrative is correct. Group is complete with the reveal. He's, he's... He's basically done the research for this video feel of the final rather than like S24. being there since the first So grab some food and your beverage of choice because this is going to be a doozy. On your mark, get ready. Start. Ben Atmos. Shout out. What? <laughs> Soyeon is the great founding mother of the sorority. Yeah, yeah, a pretty easy analogy, yeah. seeing as she's the first member of ever. But the caveat is, she didn't really know what was happening. It's more like her friend dared her to start a sorority, and she said, what's the worst that could happen? Before Triple S, she was a normal high school student who got cast by Mod House. She hadn't even danced for anyone until this exact video. <gasps> yeah, we, so seeing her constant progress over the past 24 we got months to watch her is on one of the Queen best parts about her. She's also been that there was when I was member afterwards, giving advice and guidance. She's mature and reasonable, and really feels like the mom of the group. She's unreasonably funny. Because of this, she gravitates <laughs> towards leadership roles, even if they're not specifically asked for. But she's also brutally competitive, maybe the most so on the team. Oh, 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 Yoink's oh, mad, dude. That was bad for her. In the Triple S sorority, Hedin is in charge of marketing. Like, oh, if she's on camera, boss. she will promote her members endlessly. She'll just snap her eyes to the viewer and go, She makes eye contact with the camera so often, it's almost fourth wall breaking. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's me. And finally, she's really good at dancing. 
Yeah, yeah, I know that. And here's the newly crowned bias. Okay, hear me out. You know that girl at the party who looks really elegant, but once you go up and speak to her, you realize she's down to earth and kind of goofy? That's Jiu. I sometimes have to remind myself that yes, she's an idol. She's the resident <laughs> cook, whipping up delicious dinners and the most brutal pranks. <laughs> Why does Ju always just have an evil stare? <laughs> talk about how friendly Cheon is, oh. or how experienced she is being an ex-member of Busters. But why would I do that when I could talk about her most <laughs> iconic trait? Noise. Yeah. Yeah. She's the unintentional hype girl. Her natural reactions to everything are top-notch. <laughs> So she manages to be the silliest, Cheon's shyest, so and friendliest member all in one, She's and so livens cute. up any situation. Hence, life of the party. President. Yu Yun. Where do I even start with Yu Yun? You see that? That's Yu Yun. This effortless pose, the captivating beauty, that about sums up her Bro life. is down bad. She's like the president of the sorority. Bro the is oldest, down bad. Everyone respects You heard a change in his voice. He like sighed when he said you. <laughs> no, it's she valid. She has the beauty and she has the brains. After it's all, valid. she's pursuing a degree in science at university. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and to top it all off, she's nice to every single member. Normally, I spend minutes on end searching for the perfect footage for each segment, but with Yuyun, I could just throw anything on the screen and get my point across. Don't be fooled though, behind her pretty exterior lies awkwardness <laughs> it's proof she's a science major <laughs> it's proof she's a science major okay <laughs> sumin is the freshman who will join anyone's conversation at any moment never stop talking and never get tired that's so him, man. <laughs> Even though she isn't the Maknae anymore, it still sort of feels like it. She's the chaotic <laughs> little sister who loves to be loud, honest, and whatever Maknae. this is. Maknae in spirit. <laughs> yeah, and, spe <laughs> and speaking of down bad, two men. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's me. <laughs> You're probably wondering how I- Seven. End of level one. Oof. Nakyung has that calm and composed image, Oof. giving her the uncontested status of cool girl. She yep. screams confidence when she's dancing, and also when she's doing literally anything else. <laughs> yeah, morning, just existing. If you try to mess with her, she'll be brutally honest. Existing. Oh, Hedin, you know, you're not supposed to be honest. Ah, that's right. Yeah. But she has her fair share of goofs. <laughs> and if that didn't make her cool enough, her sister is the soloist, Bibi. Yep. Way to go, bringing those industry connections to the group. No we were already cool, but now we're just adding the cherry to the top, huh? Yeah. No, it makes so much sense. <laughs> Yubin is like the friend that a member brings to the sorority house so often, she's basically part of the family. <laughs> she just gets she comes off as a bit shy and distant at first, and she's got this sleepy sheep sort of look. But once she gets <laughs> in her zone and says something, she means it. 
이거는 비지찌개. 비지찌개. 비지찌개란 무엇이냐면 이거 먹을 거야. 두부를 갈비. 만들 때 코레다키 애짱 듣고 있어? 두부. <웃음> 두부를 만들 때 진짜 맛있겠다. 애짱 듣고 있는 거 봐. 진짜 맛있겠다. <웃음> 미안해. 두부를 만들 때 음. 이제 두부에서 약간 찌꺼기. 와, 감사합니다. 감사합니다. 듣고 있어? <웃음> 두부를 만들 때 음. 잠깐만. <웃음> 나 숟가락. Kaede is that girl in the sorority who carries herself with such grace, it makes you wonder if you're allowed to speak with her. <laughs> it doesn't take long for That's you to funny. start noticing the cracks in that facade. <laughs> A couple other differences from your average princess. One, she dances really well. Two, she loves horror. Wow, that's so cool. The pledge officer is that, in charge of helping new members get situated punch clip and is, is so all good. around a good person. Likewise, Dahyun always the wants to lend a helping so hand. Good. She's supportive of every member. <laughs> Thankful to all her fans and happy to be where she is. She's also the main vocal. This of guide the is like a team. really, really, really well made guide. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not bad, not bad at all. What yeah, is that are. from? <laughs> what is that from? Why is there just like an over the top AI British bad, narrator? Not bad What's at happening? All. Yes, <laughs> Kotone is that member of the sorority who's super easy to be around and would probably chat with you for hours on end about things like Pokemon, Stranger Things, and Luna. No, like those are actually her favorite things. <laughs> She's mature, kind, skilled, and everyone sort of loves her. I'll just play her monologuing to herself, and you'll hopefully get what I mean. It's 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 like Oh, how could you not? You can't do that. You can't do that. How could you not? Adios. Well, adios. How could you not love her though? Actually, like, Yunji. Freshmen don't just join by themselves. Yunji is the yin to Sumin's yang. S6 really needed someone to balance her energy out, and Yunji does that perfectly. While sometimes Sumin annoys Yeonji. Sumin <laughs> 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 is just an unbelievable troll, man. She. like. <laughs> this is an unbelievable troll. <laughs> But at the end of the day, they're good friends and churn out about 50% of all Machne energy in Triple S. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> in every fraternity or sorority, there's that one member who never fails to make people laugh. Just the mention of their name is enough to release a viral outbreak of smiles. Their unique way of speaking makes them an icon. <laughs> And yup, that's Nian. It's never a bad day to be around Nian. Also, she should join Heading and be vice marketing chair. The promo queen. Oof. Oof. The production oof, chair oof, is in oof, charge oof, of the group's oof. creative endeavors, and So Hyun is a natural. So Hyun exists, therefore I am dead. The production chair is in charge of the group's creative endeavors, and So Hyun yeah. is a natural fit. She's a composer and has made songs for both Triple S and Artemis. Oh, you smile. can check out her SoundCloud right now. Yeah, I mean she's that real. She also comes off as a natural leader and gives others time to speak. With her constantly radiating maturity Dude. and girl crush energy, Fucking it's no face. wonder she's as popular as she is. Her face! <laughs> Creating maturity and girl crush energy, Ugh. it's no wonder she's as popular as she it's is. It's just not fair. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
15. End of level wow. 2. Wow. You got good here. Shinui is sort of like the, uh... The, uh... Sorry, Shinui is the, uh... Whoa. <laughs> um... Okay, she's in charge of you. He's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a great video. End of this is a very good video. We're, we're about to reach the part, like, obviously we have uh, Shinyu, and then I barely know Mayu. Um, but then after, but it's cool, because it's cool knowing some of them, because it's like, I know he's pretty on base. And then, so it'll be fun to then have that drop-off point where I know nothing, and I'm just following the guy. It's sort of like the, uh... The, uh... Sorry, Shinwi is the, uh... Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. Okay, she's in charge of beauty. Oh, my God, She's also a contender for the goofiest of all of them. Obviously. She looks so hot, and then she just smacks her head. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mayu's that oh, one okay. member of the sorority who's about to graduate, but she still feels like an innocent goo. That whole interaction is so good, man. That's like, that's one of my favorite things that's happened this year in K-pop, yeah. <laughs> the fact that Magenta and... That whole magenta shinu, that whole interaction is crazy. I'm up to oh, okay. Mayu's that one oh, okay. member of the sorority who's about to graduate, but she still feels like an innocent goofball. <laughs> While the consensus that she's a cutie who needs to be protected at all costs might lead you to think otherwise, she's the second <laughs> oldest. That's one of her charming points. And just like a baby, I'm pretty sure Mayu's number one favorite place to be is in the arms of her members. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the next four, known as Triple S Next, have only been around for a few months, and some of them are still really shy. So I'll go over them quickly, and we'll see how they fit into the group in the coming months. Seventeen. From what that first picture is crazy. Coming months. <laughs> that first picture 17. is crazy. <laughs> From what I've seen, Lin is very, very reserved. She's a lot like Kaede in that she's part of the Japanese line and doesn't speak very often, but has mad dancing swag and seems really nice. She also has a crush on S7 Nakyun. Who doesn't? Yeah. 18. Jubin is the second youngest out of all 24, and definitely gives Maknae on top energy. She's quick-witted and has aptly earned the nickname Boss Baby. I have something to say. I'm so cool. That's such a good transition, too. <laughs> Chaos. Hyun is brutal. Just brutal. She loves being a spectacle and having fun. Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing how her chemistry develops with the other members, because so far, she certainly has a lot of chemistry with herself. <laughs> With herself. Shion has an angelic voice and such a soft way of speaking. You Dude, can't help. I I remember. Oh, when I think it was when we did the album. We did the NXT song, and then you guys had me watch the clip of her talking, like right after she was at it, like. And I just couldn't, like, I actually couldn't believe it. Shion has an angelic voice. <laughs> actually, and such a soft way of speaking. I actually couldn't believe it. Help but like her. Like that first signal? I was like. I just kept saying, is that a real voice? She also is that a real food. voice? And finally, we arrive at the last four members, Triple S Glow. They're like the pledges of the sorority, as they just got sworn in, so to speak, and we're still getting to know them. As of writing the script, they've been around for a few days, so, uh, not much to go off of. 
I wonder... I wonder if he would make an update to this video. I'll just give you a little bit of what we do know, and it'll be an opportunity for you to learn and figure out who they are oh, for yourself. So Fun, right? She was a contestant on Universe Ticket, and went from passing the Mod House auditions in November 2023 to becoming a Triple S member in about five months. She knows martial arts, and oh, cool. her and Yuyun are the only INTPs. 22. Cool. That's cool, man. So this is, wait, what's her name again? Chewon. Chewon. Fun, right? 21. Uh, can I, ages on these last members chat, so I can keep track of it. She was a contestant on Universe They're Ticket, all really young, and went right? from passing the Mod House auditions in November 2023 to oh, becoming seven? a Triple S member in about five months. It's not as bad, she knows actually. martial arts, and her and Yuya- She's the one that's the oldest of the four, though, right? ...are the only INTPs. 22. Oh, never mind then. The one and only TIE member. She's an INFJ and in Cool, they have a time wagon. member. Cool, so cool, cool. That's cool. While she still doesn't know Korean very well, that's cool. I'm sure she'll learn a lot from, oh, you know, her giant 24 member family. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. A lot of people very loudly speaking Korean around you. Might help you learn Korean. Might not. <laughs> The one and only Thai member. She's an I right. It was it was the four it, right. It was like uh, the four before this. It was like 17, 18, 19, 20. That were FJ and I think I got my, that writing. messed up. So that's cool. While she still doesn't know Korean very well, I'm sure she'll learn a lot from oh you know her giant twenty four member family. Twenty three. End of level three. She's the maknae of all of Triple S, born June eleventh, two thousand ten. Yeah, that's which crazy. makes her. 13 years old. <laughs> Y'all know how I feel. Uh, no easier way around it. Categorically, entirely opposed to 13 year olds debuting. Kind of wish 14 year olds didn't debut. Kind of wish 15 year olds didn't debut. Um, yeah, it sucks, man. No hate. Not her choice, obviously. She's just trying to succeed as soon as she can succeed. But uh, kind of hate that decision for Mod House. So. End of level three. Y'all know how I feel. She's I'm the just, mock I'm not. I'm not gonna ever shy away from that. I'm gonna say it every time. Of all of Triple S, born opposed June to it, 11th, annoyed by it, upset by it, which makes her 13 years old. Huh? Coincidentally, her full name is Jung Hedin, which, aside from a slightly different spelling, is the same name as our resident marketing chair, Jung Hedin. Now, if what we've seen so far is anything to go off of, it looks like the mock line won't be easing up in terms of energy anytime soon. 24. At long last, we have that reached S24. Round of applause. Yay! Okay, you don't need to... You know, let's, let's wrap this up. We know Jiyeon <laughs> does ballet, is an ISTP, and her real name is Soyeon. So that means the group starts and ends with Soyeon's. But aside from that, we really don't know much. We'll just have to see where the GLOW members go from here. And that was good everyone. video. I hope my Very hours of video. research helped you make sense of this giant mega group. Very good. If you video. want a recommended viewing to get started with Triple S on your own time, I can't recommend their One the K reality show Badge War enough. You get to see the first 16 members at their absolute best, and Damn, you better get studying Badge because War their too. 24 member debut is almost here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go relax like Yuyun and munch on some double stuff Oreos while exploring the land of Hyrule. So, like and subscribe for more fun <laughs> and insightful K-pop content, and I'll see you guys next time. Annyeong! Great video. Insanely good video. Yo, we're dropping the sub. If anyone's... If anyone's, uh... Not, not checked out the original. I, I would be curious to see, obviously this is a pretty unique piece of content. Because it's the only 24-member girl group in K-pop. But, uh, yeah, I'm very interesting. Um, I'm very, very interested overall uh, in terms of what, what kind of videos he makes. No, great video. Really, really good video. Uh, the concept of treating it like a sorority, the number lines up and it makes sense. Um, fun bits. Fun bits. Really fun bits about everybody. Yeah, good video. 
This guy's bias is 100%. I shouldn't do it, by the way. <laughs> 15. End of level wow. 2. Wow. Who got good here? is sort of like the, uh... <laughs> the, uh... Sorry, Shinwi is the, uh... Whoa. Um... Okay, she's in charge. <laughs> yeah. That, we found, we know... It might be Yuyon. It might be Yuyon. He had a similar, he had a similar issue, yeah. No, no, I know. I'm just saying. <laughs> But yeah, Yuyon's uh, also like that. Also, the Yuyon section is the longest. I did notice that. Her section is the longest, I think. And he did use her for the outro, yeah. That's true. Actually, that's probably the giveaway, yeah. <coughs> well, great video. Thank you for the request, Blackgate. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Good request. Great, like I said, great guide content. Great guide content. Um, you all know I suck at keeping up with everybody. And... <laughs> oh, listen, we'll get back to more Triple S at some point. Uh, I'm not going to commit when or how, but... You know, we'll keep doing the music, of course. Uh, but... The content, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do it. it it's, to some extent, again. Um, that's where we're at, so... Thank you. Good request. Yeah, Badge War probably would be a good, uh, good definitive, easy to define piece of content. And they just announced Badge War 2, right? So, like with, with everybody? I don't know if it's, I think it's with everybody. Depends when they filmed it, I guess, but, but, good video, good request. Thank you so much to all of my wonderful patrons, with special appreciation going to Daniel Reigns, Muse Ribbons, Lucky 7 Gen, Atsushi Ray H, Mushroomy, Bob, Dominic, and Viz.